Deception for us is like a howling wind against a tree. If the root system is shallow, the tree will surely fall. Top of the morning to you. So while reading God's word from the perspective that God loves us so much, he sent his only begotten son to sacrifice himself so that we can again have a right relationship with Father and our identity as love can be restored, we read in 1 Timothy 4.1 a disturbing bit of news saying, But the Holy Spirit distinctly and expressly declares that in latter times some will turn away from the faith, giving attention to deluding and seducing spirits and doctrines that demons teach. Well, say it ain't so. How could it be? That means that someone hearing this message right now who is a believer will choose to listen to a deceiving message designed to draw them away from their faith. There is precedent set for this, and it's the reason that we came to need a Savior. When Eve, listening to Satan in the garden, there was an exchange of ideas between the two. Eve tried to win the exchange by quoting God in Genesis 3.2.3. She then rocked, She was then rocked by Satan with an idea that threw her off course. He basically was lying to her to test her how much that she really believed the words she was quoting. Once her faith was tested and found to be lacking, the battle for her soul was on to the point that not only did she get deceived enough to act on it, she became a disciple of Satan by getting another follower to join her, Adam. So here, two people who were living in God's presence had all the advantages of life without fear or lack, who lived in paradise, for goodness sakes. If they could be deceived, how much more are we susceptible to being deceived? Well, the good news here is that Jesus shows us how to overcome in Matthew 4, 3 through 11, the temptations from Satan himself. When he was tempted with convincing arguments, complete with signs and wonders, Jesus used God's word combined with his faith and love for the Father to fend off the devil and his lies. That's why it's so important for us to follow Jesus' lead in having faith, using God's word, and loving God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and our neighbor as ourself, as a protective device. So where God tells us in 1 Corinthians 13:13, 13, 13, Now abide faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. It is critical for us to develop a real loving relationship with the Father, developing a strong bond called a root in Luke 8.13. So in the time of testing, we won't fall away. Now this testing will be done not just by the, our enemy, but Deuteronomy 13.3 says God tests us to find out whether we love him with all of our heart and soul. So the word of encouragement today is make it our mission to really fall in love with God. Spend time with him. Acknowledge His presence via the Holy Spirit. Listen to His Word and obey. Soon this bond of love will grow strong enough to not be easily broken and we not be easily deceived. Have a great day.